everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's your mind to try. And so today I'm going to be talking about something that I actually have become like recently obsessed with, and that is thrift shopping. So I love being able to find deals, whether it's just like online shopping or just like in stores. It just feels so nice to know that like you're saving money and just getting a great deal in my opinion. I've recently become obsessed with thrift shopping because I just feel like it's so fun and just there are so many cute thrift stores that have really, really, really cute clothes that you can buy like gently used for really inexpensive. So I really love that aspect of it. I actually have a Goodwill that's pretty close and I'm obsessed with it. I got a few things from there. So it's going to be a haul and also it's going to be a combination of tips, tricks, and just different things like that. And maybe the next video that I do or another thrift store video that I do is just going to be like follow me around um, because I feel like I've never seen videos like that. Now, without further ado, let's get started. But the first thing that I got from the Goodwill is super cute. Just like a sweatshirt and just zips up in the front. It has these little like tie things um that i think are super cute and just a gold zipper and i it's so soft and like comfortable and i think it's really cute with just like a tank top some jeans and like superstars or converse and i found this for like five dollars i think so definitely a steal this next thing is just like a basic t-shirt and that was the only thing the velvet jacket thing was the only thing that i found that wasn't in the men's section that was in like the girl section or like kids section but everything else was in the men's section because i feel like they have the cutest clothes ever so that is also one of my tips definitely do not be afraid to shop in the men's section it doesn't matter if it like looks weird that you're like shopping in the men's section or if you're a guy like you guys have great selections in my opinion just like like long like t-shirts like these are like guy shirts but like you know what i mean like i don't even know what i'm saying but yeah i just think the guys section has really cute clothes it's just a super adorable spalding t-shirt i'm pretty sure it's like a baseball brand or something but i love the blue and the white i think it's like super cute and it's almost like a baseball tee sort of like how this is but then it's just not like a baseball tee length but I'm obsessed with it. I just think this is really cute. And just a pair of leggings. I feel like it'll be adorable and comfy. And I just love oversized t-shirts. Alright, so this next shirt is so random. But I saw it and I was like, I need that. And so it is this super funny shirt. Um, this is a extra large. And it just says, let's piece it together. And I just don't know why. But I think this is so funny. Um just like it's like all about like peace and like i feel like i've talked about like good vibes and i'm like really trying hard to have like better vibes and i know it sounds like a weird word but just like i don't even know i just like to live pure i guess and i feel like this is so cute because like just like i want everyone to just get be able to get along and these people are adorable and it's just like the earth like a heart in the center adorable and the last and final thing that I got, for those of you who have been watching my channel for a while, you know I'm a sucker for sweatshirts. So I just got this super cute um, Elon sweatshirt. Something about having like a white sweatshirt is just really cute. Probably gonna like get it gross um, pretty quickly. This is in a size large, so it's not big enough to wear as a dress, but just like super big and super like comfy. And then it just has a giant E on the back, which I'm obsessed with. He went for like a comfy vibe because... I'm obsessed with it and then just like all this is just like so cozy and I'm just obsessed with it so sort of another tip going on with the men's section or it's just to get bigger sized stuff a because if you're still growing then you can still grow into it and you don't want to get something that's like too small I saw a super cute like velvet t-shirt and it was sort of like uh, like a mock neck I guess and it was adorable but it was just kind of too small and didn't really make sense but I got a ton of just like oversized shirts jackets etc I actually got three just because they're perfect to wear with leggings and they still look cute with jeans but I feel like leggings are just comfy especially if you have a dress code just being able to have like a long t-shirt over your leggings will definitely like make sure that they don't dress code you. I would say probably the most important tip that I never really realized is just patience 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 because I was in there for probably an hour and I didn't even go through like the majority of the stuff. I was looking for a jean jacket and I just couldn't find one. There was like five jean jackets and like some of them were like vests and I was like not really down to wear that. Um, but yeah, so just definitely be really patient. I went through the men's outerwear section like 10 times and until I came across this, just because I like, sometimes your eyes like flips through it, but I literally will go through every single piece of clothing and it'll take like 10, 15 minutes, but it's definitely worth it because you could find something super, super cute and good. So I actually didn't get much into jeans, but I've heard a ton of great things about finding amazing jeans, um, at thrift stores so i'm definitely gonna like look at those more i'm 5'2 for those of you who don't know so i'm quite short and it's definitely really hard to find jeans that actually like fit and aren't like too long 
or like too big or whatever so yeah that definitely I wasn't like sure if the, I would find anything cute but um, I definitely am gonna look at it next time and see if I can find one that has like the right fit. my last and final tip is just to try everything on at least once or twice sometimes when you try it on the first time you're like yeah I really like this and then if you try it on again you're kind of like mm, how much do I really like this so just definitely think it through I tried all this stuff on at least once just to make sure that I really liked it and I would say recommend wearing something like a loose t-shirt and either leggings or jeans or jean shorts because just think of what you're looking for and how you would pair it with it because if you're going to look for a dress do not bring like jean shorts because that wouldn't really make sense if you're looking for like basic t-shirts like this to go with leggings don't wear jeans wear leggings so you can see does it look good is it like long enough with leggings uh, stuff like that so just kind of keep that in mind and dress accordingly to that and the most important important tip is definitely just like to use hand sanitizer and wash all the clothes before you wear them just because I feel like there's so many germs and so many people like touching all the stuff but like it's ugh. um not the th like thought of thrift stores in general but just like everyone's like touching all the clothes so definitely just like wash them once or twice and just wash your hands when you get in the car and then when you get home just like wash them with soap and water and you'll be set I know some of these tips were kind of obvious but I really hope you liked them and you liked seeing this little haul I thought it was super fun to do and you just like enjoyed learning more about thrift shopping i guess i definitely want to do more thrift shopping videos because i feel like it's such a fun and like unique yeah, thing thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up be sure to hit the subscribe button down below to become part of our family and also be sure to follow me on instagram and um subscribe to my vlog channel because i might do behind the scenes when i'm thrift shopping or just like my life in general i do a lot of makeup videos on there so be sure to get go check that out if you like makeup i don't really know <laughs> love you guys so much we're going to be doing the Warheads two flavors in one, Smash Ups Extreme Sour Hard Candy Net Worth 